one lead investigation which is lipid profile we are going to discuss regarding ldl cholesterol that is low density lipoprotein cholesterol look at the blood values over here it is mentioned as lipid screen some report they were mentioned as lipid profile protein cholesterol triglyceride hdl ldl vldl non hdl these are all the parameters which are given in the hdl cholesterol they have marked it as calculated the three is not there please note it down in the values mentioned as 162 milligram per deciliter and the normal is less than 100 milligram per deciliter so to understand this ldl cholesterol and its value first we will give you a short outline regarding what are these in the blood the lipids won't dissolve freely but to carry the important molecule which is cholesterol and triglyceride cholesterol is an important component in the building blocks also in many hormone synthesis also in supplying the energy triglyceride it needs to be carried these lipoproteins are the lipid carrying molecule per se this ldl is a lipid carrying molecule it is not a cholesterol per se these are the lipid carrying molecule to give you a short understanding after the diet the cholesterol whatever we eat triglycerides go to the liver through the chylomicrons from the liver there are various molecules which take this triglyceride and cholesterol to the various parts of the body wherever it is required during the journey the composition cholesterol triglyceride phospholipids will be keep on shedding or getting deposited or utilized we can say the molecules reassemble the structure thereby the nomenclature also changes vldl idl ldl and subsequently high density lipoprotein high density lipoprotein is the one which carries the cholesterols and some amount of phospholipids like this right back to the liver so this is a short summary and coming to this one here if you see in the total cholesterol triglyceride and hdl they didn't mention had uh, calculated whereas in ldl they have mentioned it as calculated what does that mean that means this cholesterol ldl is being calculated it is not a measured one just a minute Sorry for the interruption. This LDL is being calculated. It is just a mathematical calculation from these value total cholesterol, triglyceride, HDL. These are all the three important values. The rest three are just calculated from this. There are certain labs which specifically measure these also, but most of the lab just calculate these three values so how to calculate this ldl since the topic of discussion is ldl low density lipoprotein is nothing but total cholesterol minus high density lipoprotein and very low density lipoprotein so very low density lipoprotein a simple understanding is it is nothing but one fifth of triglycerides yes there is a formula for that also triglyceride divided by five you will get vldl so ldl low density lipoprotein values nothing but total cholesterol minus the other two hdl the vldl vldl is also derived one so let us see in this value see. ldl cholesterol here is 162 total is 254 so once you subtract 59 and 33 from this you will get this value so that is why in the ldl and the vldl they have mentioned it as calculated 
have mentioned it as calculated not in the other because these three are directly measured ldl and vldl are calculated non hdl cholesterol is nothing but total cholesterol minus hdl cholesterol this is also a calculated value so one simple understanding you can see this hdl is a directly related to total cholesterol this is directly as if the total cholesterol is high obviously ldl is supposed to be high so this just a understanding to show you that these values are interrelated this ldl is called as bad cholesterol why it is called bad cholesterol because it takes the cholesterol phospholipids less of triglyceride from the liver and it will give it to the all parts of the body in the all parts of the body blood vessel also comes if it gets oxidized it might get capacitated and it might cause occlusion of the blood vessel so it is the blood vessel the blood is freely flowing when these kind of cholesterol gets ldl gets deposited because of the endothelial injury or any kind of genetic predisposition it will start getting accumulated induces inflammation further deposition of ldl thereby suddenly it occludes the blood vessel thereby leading to stroke and heart attack so that is why it is called ldl cholesterol so so far i have given you a sample report how it is being given and how it is related to total cholesterol what is the journey of ldl how it is being formed and why it is called bad cholesterol we have seen now we are going to discuss five important clinical points related to ldl low density lipoprotein first point if the ldl is more than 190 milligram per deciliter always think of some genetic cause the name is familial hypercholesterolemia there are some genetic predisposition in a young population without much risk factor the ldl might be high that means it might be genetic cause probably further evaluation treatment might be required about this much high levels are there usually patient will be having risk factors like obesity diabetes smoking and alcoholism <coughs> these kind of risk factors might be there so more than 190 think of genetic and think of risk factors the poor dietary habits this is the clinical point number one important clinical point again in the routine evaluation because nowadays many labs are offering combo offers where you do uh, combined blood test and they will give the report even in the routine medical checkup they are doing this whenever there is one abnormal value which is related to ldl if the values are too high don't right away jump and start the treatment if there is no risk factor in a healthy adult in the routine checkup if it comes always repeat the ldl value and recheck it that is after one week and this is to be done in a fasting state immediately after breakfast the values might be false this is the second important clinical point if values are abnormal always repeat it after one week if there is no risk factor coming to the third important point what is the target what the level should be the level if there is no atherosclerotic cardiovascular risk score that's a scientific terminology i have to put it in simple terms if there is a risk of stroke and heart attack in the patient or if there is a highest risk then preferably less than 70 is a good value if not if there is no much risk factor then ideal target can be less than 100 milligram per deciliter there are various scores are available to decide the target a medicine resident or someone who is a medico who is seeing this video you can go through those uh, calculators what is those values atherosclerotic cardiovascular risk category is there there's already another video previously uploaded in this channel you can go through that if you want 
So continuing with the video, the third important clinical point is what is the target? Ideally less than 100. If there are many other risk factors or previously the patient suffered heart attack or stroke, preferably less than 70 mg per deciliter, which is very good. Coming to the fourth important clinical point. Whenever the LDL is high, let us take it as 120 or 160. If it is on the higher side, more than 100, always the patient will be started on statin after after treating the risk factor, obesity, lifestyle changes, diet, smoking, alcohol. All these after treating the patient is having high value after four weeks, preferably statin to be started. High dose, low dose statins are there. If after starting statin, after 4 weeks, if the values are high, another drug to be added. After 4 weeks, if it is high, bile acid sequestrants might be required. Next important point, when to repeat the LDL level after starting the drug? Ideally, after 4 weeks, after 1 month. We clinically repeat the value after 1 month to look for the response. This is the fifth important clinical point. If Statin drug is started as per the patient comorbidity and the dose selection. Ideally, after four weeks, you have to repeat it. Because if LDL is high due to obesity, metabolic syndrome, smoking, alcohol, or high calorie intake, always treat the risk factor rather than starting the statin. BMI have to be under control. Okay, these are all the risk factors. Sixth important point, lifestyle modification. To reduce the LDL cholesterol, what are the steps? Around 99% will be having lifestyle related problem only for the high or uh, abnormally high values of LDL. Only 1% will be having genetic cause. In this 99% lifestyle modification, ideal BMI, avoid smoking, avoid alcoholism, don't take excessive calorie, obesity should be managed diabetes should be managed if all these are corrected obviously the ldl well level will start coming down in four weeks and in patients who are after doing all this if the levels are high preferably statin is required in familial hypercholesterolemia statin statin is nothing but a group of drug which reduces the cholesterol so these are all the six important clinical points. So in summary, if I have to tell, low density lipoprotein is a lipid carrying molecule per se, it is not a cholesterol. It value is not a measured one, it's a calculated mathematical calculation. Total cholesterol minus LDL plus VLDL. It is just a mathematical calculation. Ideal target is less than 100 milligram per deciliter. If other risk factors are there, less than 70 milligram. Statin might be required. The repeat report might have to be done after four weeks. Statin only if there is a after correcting this factor. If the statin sorry LDL value didn't come down, statin might be required. Acetamide is the next drug which stops cholesterol absorption in the gut after four weeks or if there is a genetic cause. After this, then you can give bile acid sequestrant. In a young healthy adult, if the values are high, always repeat it after one week in a fasting and well hydrated state. So this concludes the discussion on LDL, low density lipoprotein. So in the next video, we will see another one parameter related to the blood investigation.